everyone, this is the Beard of Zeal, and this is going to be my unboxing of the Hot Toys MMS 486 Star Wars Episode 3 Anakin Skywalker Dark Side version. Um, I just want to say, first off, this shipper is wrecked. Um, there's a rip down here. The big old chunk there. The bottom is bulged out. Something scarred. Um, scarred, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, um, I have put a cut there because I showed my address. Don't want you guys knowing my address. There we go. <laughs> but yeah. Uh. And there's the box that's so finished. There's a whole other crunchy. Crunchy was right there. Okay, so, moment of truth, uh, it looks like the shipper box actually did its job, good, anyway, there's a little ding, down here in the corner, little ding, that's okay, that's okay, oh fuck me, <laughs> Wow. No, that did not do its job. Okay. Lovely. Hopefully it doesn't bow well for the figure. Okay. Alright, on the inside, <laughs> you can see we have the little card art here of him next to Darth Vader and all the little battles we, all the battle scenes from um, Revenge of the Sith, which I oh, love Revenge of the Sith. And here we go. Wow, okay, the Sith eyes. Just, just say right now, the Sith eyes make this worth it. Good. Man, those look good. Oh man, that this is wrecked on the inside, guys. Ugh. Makes me so mad. And I don't know, I'm not gonna get anything from Sacho, because Sacho doesn't answer my calls anymore. <laughs> make sure that's not. Um. Okay, well, it looks like everything on the inside is okay, so that's the main part. So, let's look at the instructions first, like we always do. Yeah, okay. St oh, a step A, whatever. <laughs> detach gloved hand and arm. So, detach gloved hand is shown. Choose the three buckle. Loosen the three buckles on the bracer and take the bracer off. Take off the arm as indicated. And then assembling the Meccano arm. Um, just not going to do that. Take off the arm as shown. Or the sleeve up as indicated. Attach the Meccano arm to the figure as shown. Complete as shown. Cool. Not going to do that. Uh, let's see. Interchangeable Meccano arm. Hold the indicated part of the Meccano arm for ass assembling and disassembling. Avoid holding the center part of the mechanic arm to assemble and disassemble as it be, otherwise the figure will be damaged. So, good to know information, hold it around the joint, not in the middle. I guess because it's probably very thin and fragile. It's, yeah, there, there, you can see it's open air inside there. So, if you were to squeeze here, you'd end up breaking, yeah, that's, yeah. I can tell that's flexing just from barely touching it, so, don't do that. Uh, fingers can move in the indicated in the direction is indicated. Hands can be rotated 360 degrees. Hands? There's only one hand. Okay. Forearm can be rotated 360 degrees as indicated. Cool. Um, assembly LED lighted blue lightsaber with arm. Nah, that's weird sentence. We all know how to do this. You're gonna have to take out the bracer for this too, so I'm not gonna bother with that, honestly. Because uh, we've all seen what the lightsabers look like. So, I mean, I might do it for photography, but not going to do it for the purpose of this video. Um, assembly LED lighted blue, LED lighted blue lightsaber. That just tells you how to put the, the blades in. Cool. Um, attach the lightsaber to the belt. You can have this little itty bitty small part. And I think, yeah, it's the same thing as Obi Wan, so it's going to be with the buttons. And, let's see, wearing the Jedi robe. 
Wear the Jedi robe as indicated. A hood and Jedi robe can be worn on the head. Avoid direct contact with the Jedi robe to the head sculpt and hands for long periods of time, otherwise the color fabric may transfer to the figure. Okay, so they started putting that on every figure that comes with any kind of outerwear like that. It's optional after Joker, because people threw such a fucking fit. Ugh. Like, to, to me, it's purple coat Joker. I'm buying it for the purple coat. Like, like if you don't want the purple coat on there, don't put the purple coat. Just, ugh. Pisses me off. Uh, diorama figure base. Remove the indicated part and attach the figure stand to the diorama figure base. So there's a magnetic piece right here, and you put the little crotch grabber in there. And it takes three triple A's. Uh, I'm not sure if I have any of those on hand or not. Um, and see, so do not expect to have been the arms or legs that were, which is stupid. This is just a true top body. I don't know why you can't do that. Do not place the figure in areas with high temperature humidity, otherwise it will be damaged. Do not get the figure to start to fire heat. Avoid it. Be careful when any of the figures with them coming up. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick cut real quick. See if I got any batteries before I go any further with this unboxing. Okay, do not have batteries, so we'll have to insert later on what it looks like with this thing lit up. So, um... Where do we start? Um, I guess we'll start with the base since we've been talking about it. Oh, man, this thing's super nice. This is part of the appeal of this set for me, is just having this nice diorama base right here. And, it, like, even not lit up, it looks fantastic, but there's these yellow light, it's like the lava lights up and then the two eyes light up right here and this is the little magnetic piece I was telling you about right there so it looks very fantastic that's one thing I like about the Star Wars line they've done some really good diorama pieces you know like especially the, the Emperor's Throne Chair which I just never heard back from such about the replacement on that either um, and uh, the Obi Wan has some cool stuff with it too. If you got the deluxe edition, which I, I didn't do that, I didn't feel like bothering. But this was kind of a necessity for me because it's such an iconic moment, you know, and it, it adds a lot of flair to the collection. And since I'm not a pleb and I don't use Detolfs, <laughs> sorry, I just I like to dig at people who use Detolfs because that is just the, the the sheeple of collecting. If that's what you like, that's good. You know, like like me, I like open air. I like having a lot of figures on a shelf. That's just personal taste. Anyways, uh, you can't display this in a detail with the Anakin on it because it's too tall. So, yay. Makes me happy. Uh, where do we go next? Uh, what about lightsaber? Which we have seen this lightsaber a million times already at this point. Because this came with <laughs> almost every Luke, um, every Ray, came with Finn. And like, this came with two Anakins, so yeah, um, we've seen this a lot, and I'm not sure if it's the same mold for everyone or not. Uh, but this one's not cracked like the Rays is, so that's good. Which, I don't think that is the same mold. There, there's like a little, actually a little spot right there. I'll have to see if this is specific to Episode 3 or not, because that's, I don't remember those two little dots being there, I, th I thought that was smooth. Huh. Interesting. So what's up there? Sorry for the squeaky chair. <laughs> um, and then you get the swooshy effect, which is nice. And if you wonder why I got the squeaky chair, I'm not using the normal wooden chairs here. I got me a little office chair because I'm building some uh, the Bandai model kits. So, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to sit in a wood chair for hours on end building those things. Uh, next up we have a Array of hands, I'm not gonna say wide array, away, it's away. Uh, wow, we only have four gloved ones? Yeah, four gloved ones. Then we get five ungloved. Interesting. Why do we get more ungloved? He's the only one I'm counting the two that are on the figure. Huh. And here's your extra hand pegs. Which, oh, that's nice. They give you one of each color. So that's cool. And... There's the buttons. Oh, there they are. The little lightsaber attached pieces. And it's almost a separate bag. Interesting. And... 
Here's the LED light up saber. Looks pretty cool. I mean, we've seen this a million times at this point. It, it's great. I love it. It's fantastic. But, like, this one looks like it'd be really hard to install. Just like Darth Vader. So, Anakin's just a pain every time. But, you know, you can make a fist with this hand. The Makano hand. Or, you know, if you're a total 12 year old. <laughs> oh, now, going to the piece de resistance. Uh, we have Anakin. And, got all the plastic off of this. Go for the head sculpt first. Ooh, that is nice. Those scars supposed to be there? Is that is that scars? What is that? Somebody let me know in the comments down below. I don't know if that's just a defect with mine or if that's actual like scars on Anakin's face. I've never seen anybody point that out. Not scars, I think. Interesting. Uh, oh man, this just. This just looks so menacing. Like, look, look at that. Put my hand behind this little focus. That looks so good. Like, I'm glad that I, I'm. If I had to pick one Anakin, then I made it this one because this is what I think of when I think of Re Revenge of the Sith Anakin. Okay. Oop. There's plastic around the arms. I guess to avoid the paint fading on there. I don't. I don't care about that. I really don't. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna. There we go. We underestimate under under underestimate his power. I don't know why I say underestimate. <laughs> oh, okay. Just a little there. It's just like with Obi Wan. I'm not going to use the um. All right, there it is. Ooh, what the hell? Look at that. We got some paint fading on that hand right there. That's from the cloth robe. Wow. Wow, Hot Toys, wow. This has only been in the box for like, what, a year? Huh. Okay. I mean, I guess you could say it's like Switch from Mustafar if you wanted to. Uh, let's just put that hand on for now. And there's no... No arm. Plastic under that? No, there's no there's no plastic up under the bracer, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, was it this robe that made that bleed? I think it was. And then we'll just boop. I actually had a guy in my Obi Wan video comment and say thank you for showing how to take off that little neck piece because nobody does. So that made my day. Ugh. Ooh. I'll tell you right now, be careful with his hair. His hair is spiky and it's trying to catch everything back here. I wish they made the hair out of a little bit softer material. Thing is, like most of my complaints that I'm having right now, like you, you have the same thing with the, um, the standard one. What? Why is the boot loose? Why? Why is his ankle broke? <laughs> Let's just see if it just if it if it popped out of the socket or if it's actually broke.
Oh, the boots are sewn on. Uh, I think his ankle's broke. Fuck! Come on! I cannot win with Sideshow here lately. He fucking... <laughs> okay. That's not the way it should be. It should be nice and stiff. And I can't tell if, if just the ankle peg popped out or if it's actually broke. And I can't take it off because they sewed the damn boot on there. Is it just one little thread holding that? No, it's just glue. Okay, just glue. Okay, I'm going to... I'm glad... I'm just, I don't care at this point. Let's see. Uh... Everything looks okay, doesn't it? I mean... Get to where you guys can see. I mean, it's... Not brokey. I think foam is in the way. I have no idea. Because it catches and then it stays. Did I get it? Nope, pops right out. I don't know if it's the foam that's causing that to come off or not. I'm going, um, well, while I'm here. Let's do a little surgery on you, Annie. I think it's the phone because it's it's catching, but then it's got pushback. Yeah, there are probably people watching this right now. They'll be like, "What the fuck? He's taking a knife to a hot toy." <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I just have extra foam on there. Ha ha ha! Uh oh. <laughs> Flexing too far. Yep, that's what it was. There was too much foam on that joint. And now it's kind of stable. Yeah, it's not, at least not like popping off. Is that one well, that one doesn't do that. Hmm. Let me see if there's anything in here. Oh, my flashlight is still on. I'm tempted to pull off the other boot and see what that one looks like. Hell, I've got tweezers. What do I do? This is how you fix a hot toy.
take that little... I can't tell what that is. I don't know. Uh, let me just... It's like it's catching, but then it's not a hundred percent catching. I feel like there's still something else that's forcing it out. I don't know. We'll do a quick cut. Okay. Well, I got it stable enough where I can articulate it, and it'll be a little it'll be fine, and it stays in there and extend up and everything. Uh. But it's, it will not stay in the hole if you flex it too much. Now, I did take off the other boot, and it the material was down to about the same way as that one, and everything looked the same on the inside, so I'm not sure what's going on here. But the reason I took the boot off is because I was flexing this one, and then it popped out like that. So I don't know if this just got warped because of the heat outside or something like that. So I might take a hair dryer to it, scrimp it down a little bit, and then pop it on because this one has a clear defined pop and this just has a little poof. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, I probably did irreparable damage to the pleather here. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, I guess I can take off the rest of the plastic now. So, if you encounter that issue, um, carving the, the foam off the leg helped me. Because it would not get a seal on there before then. But, you know, whatever. It works now. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, to be realistic, he's going to be on this stand for the most part. So that's fine. Um, as long as the leg just doesn't magically fall off. But I hate knowing that my figure has a defect, you know. And holy shit, this is tall. <laughs> Man, this is this is this is a thing. This is this is very um, imposing. I like this. I'm trying to get that like that pose where he's coming up at Obi Wan on this thing, kind of. Look at this thing, top to bottom. This thing is massive. No wonder it doesn't fit in a detail. This is like Hulk height. Really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I just wish my figure wasn't falling apart out of the box. But, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this all posed up and everything, put it on display and show you guys what it looks like with the batteries on and everything. And see you guys right in there. Alrighty, it's been a couple of days, probably about a week uh, since I've did the rest of this video. <laughs> uh, it's going to be the same for the Iron Man that I uploaded at the same time. It's been two weeks for that one. Uh, I'm getting terrible at finishing these videos and just because shit gets in the way of work and stuff. But here is what Wayne looks like over that up. And just FYI, no word from Sideshow back about any of this, but I ended up fixing the ankle issues. I mean, it's. I'm comfortable with it. Um, I do hate that uh, it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect, you know. But I'm comfortable with where I got it. It's stable. It looks great. So I'm I'm, not, I'm just not going to be bothered with it, you know. Not going to worry about. It. But side note, check out that Obi Wan pose. My God, that's good. <laughs> but I really, really love the shelf presence of this. Uh, I think once I get more prequel stuff, this is really going to stand out. 
because uh, you know you'll have like uh, Darth Maul and his speeder, and then um, uh, Qui Gon and all that good stuff. So I might actually end up getting two Darth Mauls just so I can have one on the speeder, and then one um, fighting Qui Gon all the time. So we'll see about that. Uh, anyways. I really love this base. I've been turning this thing off and on all week long just because it looks so cool. Let me just turn the lights off real quick. Like, look at that. That is just very, very, very well done. I love it. I love it so much. And flip that light back on. So, um, should I recommend you to get this? Uh, ugh. I don't know. This is a very specific situation here. Um, if you can get your hands on the original Anakin, I would say go for that one and try and hunt down the Sith Eyes head. Because let's be real here, everybody said it because I'm getting this figure a year late. Um, this should have been a DX. This should have came with the normal Anakin and that should have came with the normal Anakin. You know, the head and the stand and would have been done. But no, it's just making it its own release is just stupid especially when you look at what they're doing with uh, the Darth Maul like that that is way more value like the, the the Darth Maul DX costs as much as this does comes with two heads all kinds of shit like uh, this is terrible terrible value I'm not gonna lie it's terrible value especially you look at the rest of all these hot toys over here they have all carried a, good, a lot of decent value with them. This 280, 290 ship. Yeah, 290 ship. This terrible, terrible, terrible value. But I had to have an Anakin one on my shelf. I like the diorama base. So, I mean, if I had to pick and choose between them, I probably would have got this one first anyways. But I do want the other Anakin still. So, I might do that. I don't know. Because I really like like this. I'm thinking about getting another Obi Wan too, just so I can you get the deluxe edition and have the baby and all. Because I, I really like, I really like Revenge of the Sith, <laughs> and I really like Obi Wan. So I, I might just do that one anyways. But it all depends on time and money and how much this um, Rise of Skywalker and the Mandalorian and whatever that, whatever that they end up releasing that. How much that ends up wiping me out, and of course the. The Leia and Wicket went up for pre-order, which I gotta get those. <laughs> which means now I gotta get more Return of the Jedi stuff, because... Ugh, I can't, I can't live without a Wicket. I love my Ewoks. It's like I love my, my Chewbacca over there. I love them when they do the full fur figures. I wish they would do that for Rocket Raccoon. But, you know. Um, to wrap up this video... Like I said... If you want this, go for it. I don't think you'll have no near amount of QC issues that I had. You'll probably have to watch out about the the cloak bleeding on the hand, like I had on the fist hand, because that I think that's just where it was sitting in the package for a long time. And of course, you're gonna watch out for the hair gripping the back of this back here. You can see it's already some strands that are starting to pop up where I've moved the head, and just gotta be very careful with that. <laughs> And, of course, my ankle. I don't think you'll, you'll probably, you probably won't have that issue. That's probably just mine where they put the excess material in there and it ended up warping the plastic. If I were to take a blow dryer to it, I could probably fix it. No problem, where it would sit in there perfectly fine. But I've got it to where it's no issue right now. You know, like, it's, it's, it's sitting fine. I mean, he's a little loose on there. It's not as secure as I would like it to be, but he's not tumbling over or anything like that. So that's good, you know. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be totally dependent on what you think about this package. And considering it's a Toy Fair exclusive, and it was initially con only pre-order, and it's still in stock, that should tell you how few people actually want this one. Um, but if you can catch it for a good deal, maybe two forty or something like that, two thirty. It's a steal. Two, two, two ninety shipped. No, I'm, I'm regretting this purchase a little bit. I mean, I'm glad it's on my shelf. I'm glad I have it. I love it because um, it's this Star Wars hot toy. I mean, come on now, they, they're always great. But hmm, just speaking from a, a pure standpoint here, of was this worth the money? No. So 
<laughs> That's going to be up to your, your own decisions there to see if, if this is worth putting in your collection or not. But that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, turns, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.